Hey guys, so let's jump into the tutorial. I'm gonna show you how to do these curtains. So the first thing that you need is your curtains. Now I got these curtains from Ikea. I was just looking for the cheapest options that I could find because I was gonna embellish them. So that didn't matter too much to me. I wanted white. So um, when you are shopping for your curtains though, pay attention to the content, the fabric content, depending on what method you wanna do. And I'll talk about that in a second because some um, may, you may have to do like a low iron or no iron. So depending on the material, like if you get very, very inexpensive curtains and they are, you know, kind of plasticky or they're kind of mesh, you may not be able to iron those. So keep that in mind. Then I bought some trim. I bought nine yards. So also measure your curtain. So if we have two curtains that are like this, we need to have the width as well as the length because I'm going to go across the top and all the way down the bottom. So calculate what that measurement is for your curtains and then go to your local craft store and get whatever trim you like. Um, this is kind of a popular one and the color match my daughter's room, but you know, you could really pick whatever you want. If you're going to do the sewing method, which is probably the fastest and easiest, you can do, you know, get your coordinating thread and I'll show you how to do that in a second. But if you are not a sewer, I want to show you some of these uh, products. So these are both basically the same kind of thing. They are iron on, you know, two sided fusible tape. So this one's going to be a little wide. So you want to make sure that it's not too wide for your project. This one's even a little wide too. They make it thinner even than this. And what you do is follow the manufacturer's instructions, um, but you can iron it on a low, you know, if you want to do a low setting, it might take you longer than 10 or 20 seconds to fuse it on. Okay. So this is definitely a great option. It might take you a little bit extra time because that's quite a bit to iron onto your curtains, but a great, you know, if you're not a sewer, you don't have a sewing machine. This is another really good option. This is my favorite fabric glue, hands down, without a doubt. This is the best one. I've tried a lot of different ones. This bonds really, really well. So when you, um, you'll just need to glue it and really make sure it's adhered well and let it dry fully before you hang the curtains so that gravity doesn't kind of pull it out of um, alignment. So the nice thing about already made curtains is we've got these seam lines that we can follow along. So right up here, there is a seam line. This is how the construction of the curtain is. So that is what will be attached to the curtain rod. And then right underneath that is where the pom poms will go. All right. I'm going to just gently fold this under. We'll start all the way at the edge and I'm going to pin it into place following the seam line. Before you cut it, make sure you know how you're going to be then doing your lengthwise because I'm going to be doing mine like so. I actually want the little pom poms to kind of like come off the edge. So that will help you decide where to cut this side so that you don't have overlapping. So I'll call you up whenever I'm feeling down. Cause it feels so good just to have you around. And you might not be the richest boy in this town. But it feels so So continue pinning. Once you have everything pinned, take it over to the sewing machine and we're going to sew down. Now you can add a stitch along the top and a stitch along the bottom just to make sure that it's extra secure or just do one right down the middle. I'm sewing right above the pom-poms and keeping the right side of the palms lined up with the stitch line. So 
back stitch. So I did the one stitch down by the pom-poms. I'm gonna go and do another pass at the top of the trim over here. But first I'm gonna get the pinned pom-poms all the way down the side, the first stitch of that complete. And then I'll do the second pass on both of those to make sure that they're really secure. So go ahead and finish attaching your pom-poms to your curtains. Mm -hmm. 